Welcome to F1000 Insider. We're live from Barber Motorsports Park for rounds 5 and 6 of the 2021 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPCUSA.com. Before we jump into the action and roll out on track, let's see who took home the cash and prizes from the Friday Night Random Drawing Awards and Dinner Social. Congratulations, guys. Mr. Hoosier himself. So, let's see, who's winning a front tire? That is Shane Prieto. Thank you, sir. Yes, he is. Congratulations. Front tire. Yeah. That's a great pick. Thank you, guys. And a rear tire. Let's see. He doesn't know our numbers anyway. All right, that's why I can make it up. That is Tim Pierce, 81. Yay. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Next up, we are going to get one of our series sponsors, the guy who makes this infamous death dust, to come on up and give away $100 of his own money because he's such a nice guy. So let's see who gets a hundred bucks from Scott Young. You want to draw the ball? Come on, Emily. Yeah. Scott Young. Yeah, nice guys. <laughs> what number we got? I like LL better than what it reads the other way. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Nice guy. Dollars, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, young blood racing wheels. Bad. That's such a pro. Congratulations. Woo! Thank you. Good job. He sent me decals. Yay! Thanks, Mike. So, 50 bucks from Hurley Mind Reader, Tim Pierce. <laughs> 50 bucks. Appreciate it. See. Congratulations to all the series drivers and once again thank you to all of our series sponsors for your continued support. Now let's check in on the action on the grid for round five. Get a five minute warning on the grid. They're getting ready to roll out. We'll get a quick word with the pole sitter. MPT pole position. Alex Mayer, you ready to have some fun with Prieto here? Hell yeah, it'll be awesome. Kind of like you know, Kershaw in Mid-Ohio. Hopefully we're wheel to wheel all up. And we'll have fun. Good luck. Put on a show. So here he is, Shane Prieto. Like you guys said, almost got a pole yesterday. But Shane, how you liking Barber? Oh, this place is a blast. Fun track and beautiful facility. And have fun. Give the kid a run, man. Oh, heck yeah. I'm going to make All right. And third on the grid, it would be Nathan Bird in that 39. Uh, second weekend in the car and definitely improving over and over and over again. See what Nathan has to say here. Nathan, how you liking F1000? F1000 is pretty awesome. These cars are fast, they're nimble, and they give you a lot of good seat time. Good luck. Have some fun. So we've got, you can see we've got Charles Livingston, Steve Hamilton, Tim Pierce. Charles, what do you think about Barber? I love it. It's a roller coaster. Roller coaster, that's right. See these guys trying to get makeshift umbrellas here. You know, do whatever you can. Keep your drivers cool. So once again, here... Steve Hamilton. Steve, what do you think about Barber? This is a fantastic facility. It's first class all the way. The track is uh, very challenging and interesting. So I'm looking forward to a great race today. Well, good luck. It's a good jump off the front. Four wide behind Alex and Shane. Wow. Alex has got the run down into turn number one. Shane is just off to his right. He's going to hang with him. He's hanging with him. Alex gets a little loose on the inside. Shane is still to his right-hand side. And as we get to the apex of turn two, side by side, lap one, Alex Mayer on the left, Shane Prieto on the right. They ride up over the crest at turn number three. Alex is still not back to the apex at four. He's got just a little bit of clear track. Prieto on the brakes into turn number five. Can't get a move done. He falls in behind Alex Mayer. So for the first time, we go single file, lap one of the F1000s. Mayer leads Prieto, then Bird. Hamilton's got the jump on Tim Pierce, and Charles Livingston has fallen back from P4 into P6. So all change in the mid-pack of the F1000s. 
And uh, once they come up to the back side of the circuit, I'll be able to pick them up out the window again, and we'll get them into turn 11. JT, frantic, but good commitment from Shane Prieto on lap one. Absolutely. You had your answer right there. I mean, there was there was room to go too wide there, and, you know, he stuck it in there. He tried to keep it, you know, exiting three into four so he could challenge in five. It just just wasn't enough there through the uh, the climb through four. Um, but that start was fantastic. Unfortunately, Charles Livingston um, falling back a bit uh, due to being caught out. Um, but, I mean, Hamilton and Pierce, great start. It was. Alex has completed lap one here. Opens up a little bit of a gap ahead of Shane Prieto. If I go back to our live timing, instead of the grid, I can tell you the gap is 1.2 seconds, and Bird is actually kind of hanging with those lead two. It was a slow first lap there from the, the two leaders, from everybody really, as they get their tires up to temperature, their brakes up to temperature, get everything into that working condition. Bird is doing well to hang with the back of Shane, actually. Uh, and even Steve Hamilton in that white number 93 JDR is making a good escape from Tim Pierce and Charles Livingston for P4. We had a good comment uh, on Steve uh, Hamilton uh, after practice two on Friday. He put that car into third. It's a really, really good result for Steve. Um, he wasn't able to quite get it done in qualifying yesterday, but he's jumped right at it this morning in race one and, and hauled himself up into P4. So good work there for Steve. Uh, Tim Pierce and Charles Livingston rounding out the field fifth and sixth. I wonder here if, if now the move for Shane is to just kind of sit behind Alex here and let Alex work the tires uh, out of their operating window. It seemed yesterday in qualifying like Alex really struggled to make that car work. I don't know if it was a tire issue, if it was just a, a setup and balance issue, but it really seemed like Shane pushing the Furman sort of had the edge over Alex in that JDR chassis. And I, I do just wonder a little bit if Shane's content to ride there and let Alex sort of run away out in front of him. A little quicker that last time around, 124.822. And that margin is right on a second, which I think will kind of be the sweet spot uh, for Shane Prieto in that number 43. Nathan Bird kind of hanging with them now, just dropping off the pack. Maybe a little bit, 2.3 seconds from Prieto back to Bird. And as I look to my left here, cresting and on your screen there, turn four, goes Steve Hamilton, goes Tim Pierce, and then goes Charles Livingston. Now, one of the dynamics we get in this Formula 1000 and Atlantic sort of split or share a track time uh, is the idea of the slower Formula Atlantics coming back to the front of the F1000 cars. I can tell you that Robert Wright, Austin Hill, Bob Corliss, 6th, 7th, and 8th overall are all still running in the 1 minute 30s in their Formula Atlantic cars. And actually, we look at Alex Mayer coming into turn 11 here. He's going to catch the back of this Atlantic field here with just two and a bit laps under his belt. And this is going to totally change the dynamic of the race because this is a really tricky passing zone here. We can jump on board with Alex Mayer and watch him negotiate the back of the Atlantic's field if that, uh, if that onboard feed is still with us. Oh, it's pointed up. It's just got bumped on the grid there. Thank you, Tanner, for that. So they've jumped the first of the Atlantics. That's the number five. Go a whole lap side by side like that, and we gave each other the room. Um, maybe this afternoon. <laughs> here for the weekend. A thousand dollars for Mr. Shane Prieto. Mr. Tim Pierce, six hundred dollars for you. And five hundred and fifty dollars for the Birdman. Now we've got one more thing here we got to give away. The MIR move of the weekend. And I've talked to a few of the drivers. Uh, we've decided, a few people, that this move goes to Alex Mayer for his positioning well during qualifying to keep him on pole. <laughs> it 
And once again, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for sharing, liking, commenting. Let's keep this thing rolling and let's keep moving forward. We're going to be at Pittsburgh in just a few weeks. So make sure you guys stay tuned and check out the live stream. Go back and watch all the races. Check it all out. And once again, thank you, Kavana Rum, Papa John's Pizza, and Arrive Drive Motorsports for your support for this live broadcast. I'm Dustin Hodge for the greatest sounds in motorsports. We'll see you later from Pittsburgh in about a month. EPC is a proud sponsor of the North American Formula 1000 Championship.